right, let's get into the patch notes. Naraka update April 27th, 2023 for season eight. So we have an, um, a ton of stuff. This is going to be for showdown. We have the new boss, Omnimus, uh, or Arit. I'm sorry. I'm totally scuffing his name. Um, it's going to be like new challenging. We're going to be in a Celestra, new levels, new stories, more than 10 new thunder omens. So there's going to be 10 different omens added to the game, which is going to add a ton of stuff to everything. We have new hero Yushan um, with a new counter skill. He's got counter strike combos with enhanced when equipping and exclusive soul jades. There's going to be a ton of new uh, features, soul jade recast. Epic and legendary show, uh, showdown soul jades can be recast by consuming another showdown soul jade of the same quality. After recasting, the attributes of the new soul jade will be randomly selected and combined from the consumed one. And the values will be random, affected by the original. After recasting, you can choose to keep the original or accept the new ones generated. That's going to be interesting. We're going to have to play around with that. If the number of attributes in the newly created soul jade is less than four, there's a chance to get an extra attribute possibly yield additional powerful rare attributes that'll be super cool I, dude there's so much to show down with the unique jades the unique attacks like all of these things it's like they don't go like they could be so lazy about showdown and we would still love it and yet they bring all of these things they have to develop it they have to add it into the game it's so impressive that they bring things that are not features in the base game into this vastly more than just bosses and just mobs to kill which i just think is so uh, inspiring because it's it's above and beyond what you expect from game devs especially if someone you know a multiplayer game like naraka um there's a new version over 30 no they added 30 new show, showdown jades what 30 these people are crazy! Uh, new element attribute, thunder wielding. Yo, thunder shock, divine thunder. The thunder accumulate can trigger divine strikes to attack monsters. Holy crap, holy. Opening hours after this update, showdown will be open on, from April 27th to May 7th with no changes to daily opening hours. The weekend only schedule will resume. Oh, that's so nice! of them it's gonna open tonight i had no idea that's so cool i was not expecting this usually we have to wait every time they make an update so they're gonna have it open for a week for everyone and to enjoy before they go back to weekend that is so nice so we have a uh, limited time event cultivation master each day you may choose one of the two cultivation zones nether abode if you gain positive scores in the ranked match you'll get 25 bro oh, okay so this is like before where you can do like positive or negative fiery mountains if you gain negative it's to diminish whatever yeah if you get zero score it doesn't consume your uh eurekas uh, we've had a very similar uh, event before. You can choose only one type a day. You'll receive one Eureka once you've made your choice. An additional one is granted for you each uh, event quest you complete. Quests are in seven groups in each available in turn at different times. We'll go check that out. Eureka's gained are valid for the day only. They do not carry over to the next day. Complete more quests to win greater rewards. Limited time event. Cabbage dog! there a cabbage dog yes we love it we love it we love it during the event sign in for seven days in total to get rewards including limited edition accessory and limited edition mark of victory play the game dig cat wait there's gonna be a mini game ah! <laughs> dig cabbage dog mini game to win rewards like crossover event themed bubble and a regular treasure choice gift oh my gosh thank you for that bats um limited limited time event immortal wrath um earth shakes mountains move a glimmering torrent rushes forth to the immortal temple of the herald's ancestors um event rules gain guild seal by completing quests during the event to redeem great event rewards they have so many events in this game. I don't know how they keep it fresh like they do. They just mwah, chef's kiss. Event quests only refresh when showdown mode is available, but you can redeem rewards while it's closed. So we have limited time event, the Phoenix Source, so uh, which is the uh, sure uh, ethnic Phoenix princess. 
um, Unchained with the Spirit of the Phoenix, Naraka Bladepoint has joined hands with the Ta Ta Taishan people's government of the Wenzhou uh, Zhejiang province. Miss Lan Xiao Lu. I'm so sorry. I'm 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 totally pronouncing all this wrong. An inheritor of the traditional Shur ethnic group culture, joins us in releasing the Shur ethnic pr uh, Phoenix Princess, a crossover series including Justina outfit, avatars, and much more. Find out more about the crossover event in the feature page. So we'll have some more stuff. The season reckoning. So this is going to be season eight. Untamed season will come to an end April 27th, which is today, and the rank will be reset, blah, 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 blah. Thank you all for your suggestions during the Untamed season. We will work harder to bring a better gaming experience. The detail of the season rewards and reset of score are as follows. Players will be able to claim the rewards after the update. So uh, we have some avatars and a Wu Chen epic outfit called Alchemist apparel stamp uh, for gold. Gold and platinum players will be getting a Wu Chen epic outfit as well as the legendary musket skin Gilded Scorpion. I don't know what those look like yet. So pretty much uh, as you got higher, you get different uh, avatars and some untamed treasure. Oh, you get untamed treasures too. Yo, that's cool. Kill score, survival score and hero score will be partially carry over to the new season due to uh feedback from everybody so uh you guys can check out the exact numbers here um hero adjustments for akos akos is now immune to hit damage during a preparation stage of roar before the shock effect a set of 70 percent damage reduction uh reduced roar blast from 20 seconds to 22 increased roar terror from 20 seconds to 25 slightly put off the time when akos uh can interrupt the shock wave of narrowed uh, roar terror's effective range during the ultimate feral frenzy and the grab as well akos will get a 30 percent damage reduction during tiger leap um and 70 percent reduction during the pounce strike and um optimize the issue where feral frenzy tiger strikes uh would be blocked by low barriers um, the chain binding effect for the lockdown feral frenzy will no longer restrict players interaction with teleport mechanics so that's something being different um for valda greatly reduce the startup frame of haze array tide uh, traps change the skill focus to golden and adjusted its cd to 25 seconds yo we're gonna get a golden focus that's changing things nether nightmare spite now he has the following um uh, she has the following uh new effect knocks back enemies and protects herself with water energy that lasts for 16 seconds during which she can launch water spear attacks repeatedly tap the skill button to throw water spears and binding effect to trap enemies dragons coil at low height for two seconds um hold the skill button to end enemies hit by the water spears will be inf uh, afflicted by soaked effect bound enemies will get off the control after being attacked and get immune to it for three seconds soak decreases enemies attack by five percent to for 10 seconds and immediately triggers all remaining burn damage maximum for oh i keep clicking out of it i'm sorry chat so uh valda's getting a hefty buff after being bound by the tide traps and all derived skills enemies will get immune for 2.5 seconds so this is the death note um for haze array it was hard to play a part in combats for various reasons therefore we have lowered its threshold to ensure it can produce stable effects so we have redesigned nether nightmare smite to make valda's combat more flexible so valda will be more flexible in game the protection of nether nightmare and all its derived ultimates will no longer decay over time now it has a fixed duration for different skills the protection of nether nightmare can last for 15 seconds at most can last for 12 uh a bind can last for 12 seconds and remove Valda's performance of being teleported in the air during Nightmare, um, Nether Nightmare and Nether Nightmare Bind. Hayes, uh, CD for 15 seconds to 18 seconds. So, for all you nerds, there's your nerd stats. <laughs> so, Viper is getting an adjustment as well. Adjusted the defense focus 
price of Yushan Enigma lockdown from blue to gold, adjusted the related performance of Yushan Enigma and Feeble, adjusted the focus level of Enfeeble from interrupting common attacks to interrupting gold focus strikes. Interesting. Increased the damage multiplier from 1 to 3.5, and the hit effect has been changed to knock airborne. Increased CD from 15 to 20 seconds. So that's a significant buff right there. Kurumi can cast Sacred Circle Rapid Healing when attacked now. So that's something different. For Tian Hai or Monkey Poo, um, increase the attack focus of Vajra skills under all ultimate talents. Now it can interrupt gold, then focus strikes instead of common attacks. So there you guys go. He's getting a buff as well. Tarka. Now after Tarka casts his ultimate, he will perform a first stage dodge after getting up from the ground. Dev notes. There was inconsistency in the rules governing Tarka's actions when he got up after being knocked down, which occasionally resulted in unexpected performance. Therefore, he has, you know, we have stabilized the rules for getting up to ensure that both Tarka and his enemies can understand the moves more precisely. So there you guys go. Just a little difference there. Um, on to weapons. So we have some general stuff. Slightly advance the interruptible time point for all weapon repairment. Slightly put off the timing for dodge after switching weapons in midair. Pull sword. Slightly increase the recovery frames after the first stage charge torrent flow. Slightly shorten enemy stagger time. Reduce the damage multiplier from 6.14 to 5.33. Um, reduce the damage of the first stage charge multiplier of breaker from 5.22 to 4.7. Optimize the motion of the follow up strike. For Spear, slightly adjusted the hit performance of Horizontal Strike and the second vertical strikes to airborne objectives uh, uh, to chain the strike of the two stages more smoothly. Interesting. Slightly shorten the startup frames of Dragon Slayer. Increase the damage multiplier for Dragon Slayer from 2.51 to 3.51. That's a pretty, that's like a 50% increase almost. Reduce the damage multiplier of Nezha from 4.64 4 to 3.62. For all you nerds, the devs say the spear's precise charge strikes and follow-up combos are often affected by complications in the battlefield. This is true. Resulting in unstable effects. This is true. We have therefore adjusted the damage distribution of the moves to increase the efficiency of the output. I've actually noticed this uh, since we got the uh, the staff. I noticed that the accuracy of like the things you're trying to do, it seems like staff tends to hit more often than um, than the spear. So I find that really interesting. For the staff, slightly adjusted the hit performance of horizontal strike and the second stage vertical strike to airborne uh, objectives to chain the strike of the two stages more smoothly added the absorption effect to heaven uproar and now um stanchion rising cloud uh will knock back enemies instead of knocking them airborne when they stand interesting soul jade adjustment so buff soul jade optimize the sound effect of storm stride sword and stored storm stride when they hit enemies that's always good they've had it they've changed that sound effect a couple times <laughs> i find that one super silly um so for spear soul jade slightly reduce the startup frame for heart stopper kick that's actually really nice so that's a little bit of a buff increase the damage multiplier for heart stopper kick from 1.81 to 3.53 that is double, double. That's huge. Reduce the damage multiplier uh, of blistering edge first stage from 4.38 to 3.94. So that's slightly. In game adjustments, bot mode adjustments, increase AI opponents use frequency of blue focus strikes at the easy level. That's actually really nice because a lot of times I try to go get some of my parries or work on parries when I'm uh, doing easy bot modes and they won't throw blues. Okay, so uh, team's info page added a switch to block the in-team chat channel. Oh, that's nice. I like that actually. Um, training ground adjustment, combined rift dealer and training a ground and added category tabs to display items i like that there's too many boxes good adjustment the boxes are annoying to me uh out of game adjustments new options added added the option to auto swip weapon after being countered to setting game comp oh oh 
When it's on, the system will help players equip the first melee weapon on Weapon Bag automatically after being countered or just. Oh, that's a game changer! Yo! We added the option to make sure players can toggle to spare weapons quickly in combat after being countered. It can be turned off or uh or uh off on or off in combat good good personal info page upgrade a brand new interface is applied added stats display of more game modes so uh so some data will lack history that makes sense players are allowed to customize which game modes is displayed by default that's nice adjustments to the unlocking requirement for some features now uh, players can unlock custom room at level two thank you that's great. That's great. That's great. That that needed to happen. Okay. Also, now players can unlock rank at level 20. I don't know what it was before. That seems really high to me, but I might be wrong. Hero badge. Added new levels to hero badge, including cotton, finery, and formidable cash. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cute. New uh videos? Outfits. Added CG videos for the ethnic princess, the longman flying immortal. Oh, and many other outfits. Outfit videos. That's really cool. Battle pass. You can now play introduction video for the current season on the battle pass oh you can watch the video in in the game season settlement season rewards added season reward interface check it in the reckoning season rewards season stats um added season stats to shadow surge mode interesting that's actually really cool that's a nice new thing so it, it, i feel like when you have stats it encourages people to do other modes like you know playing bloodbath or this or that when there's fun silly modes but there's nothing to encourage people um to to grind them to play them you get a lot less player base in those modes because there's no incentive so i do think that that's a really really good uh update and i hope they bring it to like through the fire stuff like that okay these are showdown adjustments adjusted the recommended sense level of some stages to streamline the gaming experience that's really good there's a few that are janky meanwhile we have reconstructed the unlocking hierarchy of levels following the update certain levels may be locked until players complete their prestige stages that's interesting i i think that's a good idea though but i think it's very interesting optimize the window of clashing with thunderspawn bind spawn and curse spawn that's for monsters interesting that might be optimize the window that's actually good that's good because it's kind of janky sometimes if i'm thinking right yeah 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 yeah. okay hero slightly increase the damage multiplier of tian high's ultimate that's good he feels kind of like not super great but i haven't played him a ton vajra increase the damage multiplier of melee grab from 1.5 to 2 slightly increase the damage multiplier of ground stomp these are all really good he just feels kind of weak to me but i haven't played him a ton to be fair so it looks like uh damage of ground stomp one enemy in hand is 5 to 7.5 two enemies 12 to 18 so a, a decent it's about like 25 percent more damage there increase the damage multiplier of counter strike combo when equipping tn high cult call soul seeking from 16 to 18 a little bit of a buff about uh 20 percent 10 percent 15 percent there increase the base health of vajra from 3000 to 6500 yo <laughs> yo that's it he's got big big boy health increase the armor uh conversion rate for tn high transforming from 100 percent to 160 percent interesting omens slightly lowered the luck provided by omens interesting were they lucky i don't remember weaken monsters at strongholds near the main area of even uh even tide temple that's actually good they're really weird there enigma domain yeah they're i don't know why they're so strong there it's like you go over there and they take forever compared to the other sections um showdown soul jade drops increase the drop possibility of high quality soul jades in proportion to legendary showdown soul jades in non-enigma domain stages on showdown interesting so non-enigma is increased uh lower the drop probability high quality soul jades in the enigma uh, stages of, oh boo um dev notes there was a far higher drop probability of high soul jades in the enigma domain than in the other stages which means that it was extremely hard for players who preferred non-enigma domain stages to get oh that's fair therefore we balanced it to drop probability of the two uh, that's fair that's fair um showdown soul jades added the recommended soul jade <laughs> set players can use the recommended soul jade set provided by the developers or popular soul jades um, uh recommended what fun time you can quickly auto equip sets oh i thought we already had that maybe they tweaked it 
Quick charge, increase the damage reduction multiplier of the pistols, charge shots, assassin's lunge, uh, decrease the damage multiplier for assassin's lunge, quick attack, decrease the attack bonus multiplier, detonating rounds, decrease the damage multiplier of delayed explosion for detonating rounds, scatter shot was decrease the damage range transformation multiplier for scatter shot, enhance bounce shell, uh, increase the damage boost multiplier from the bounce shell shots, crossbow augment no more uh, reduction on bullet damage in oh interesting warrior increase the duration um almost doubled it heavy sword sap increase the damage multiplier for heavy sword sap um and new and removed effects showdown soul jades now have 14 brand new attributes and three new rare ones the new showdown soul jades will not change the following uh attributes so attributes related to the range and speed of grappling hook the initial health and health loss of speed Speed, uh, speed of cairns health after birth uh, after rebirth etc new attributes include damage boost of melee weapons damage boost of range weapons charged non-charged damage to agus bonus ice blast divine strikes damage bonus increase damage to boss non-boss monsters reduce damage taken from boss non-boss monsters vitalia armor powder recovery bonus counter to views trigger recovery new rare effects is windfall increase the possibility of extra sub attributes of the soul jade moderation reduce skill cd by a percentage after dealing elemental damage scorching enables melee strikes to inflict burning effect on different levels of enemies after counter that's interesting elemental effect adjustments reduce base damage multiplier of ice blast um, by wool 2 to 0.5 that's a lot increased damage bonus provided by every ice wielding level from 17 to 100 percent huge boost damage provided by six level ice wielding remains relatively consistent before the update sense level increase the max sense level to 500 so for all of you guys who are maxed out now you can grind some more door updates battle pass the reckoning battle pass is now available which includes a variety of valuable items so let's see um you're gonna get treasure scroll at the price of 1200 gold and a gl glory scroll at 2840 uh so i'm assuming since it's cheap we're gonna have 115 levels again um, correct me if I'm wrong. New items in Showdown Store. Legendary Weapon Skins, Flaming Ash Burning, and Flaming Ash Scorching are now available in Showdown Store. Showdown Seals can now be redeemed in the event of Mortal Wrath. Woo! New pack! Newly added Justina. Exclusive pack, the Phoenix Princess, which we've looked at before. Um, So that's going to be super exciting. She has the crown, the hairstyle, and the outfit, from what I can see here it's gonna be standard price at 3500 and on sale for 1800 gold uh new discounts the pull sword oh! <laughs> sorry um i must compose myself the newly added pull sword uh the napa cabbage is gonna be uh 1500 normally tw uh, 1250 on sale we have the newly added feria shen legendary outfit called orchid moonlight i'm excited to check that out 18 to it's gonna be on sale for 1500 of course all the new ethnic princess stuff is on sale as well and then we have karume legendary outfit sundo uh miko uh, miko um this on sale we have tian hai legendary outfit ivorous which is on sale for 1500 great sword legendary skin evil bane um oh some of these are they're not new these ones aren't new i just realized damn it uh staff legendary uh skin beggar staff is on sale as well discounts ending all the stuff that's already in there and then here are the bug fixes for y'all who love uh, this is always my favorite part of the patches it's either new spots on maps or this <laughs> hero related bugs optimize the issue where fail frenzy lockdowns chain would be stretched if yoto he slash at the edge of the flag right wait that's funny I w if anybody has a clip of that i'd love to see that uh i i wish they provided videos of the bugs 
fix the issue where there were mistakes in the description of Tumultuous Zephyr Wisp. Okay. Fix the issue where the duration of 5% attack boost effect went wrong with Justina's cast Arctic Wrath and Arctic Blizzard. Battle related bugs. Fix the issue where AI opponents might stop attacking for a long time at the easy level of bottom. Oh my god! All hail the Narak devs! Yes, they do. They just stand and stare at me. Oh my gosh. I Thank God. Voice related bugs. F fix the issue where players couldn't block teammates' voices on the map page in ma matches. That did happen sometimes. And that, folks, is all of your patch notes. I hope you enjoyed. Now we wait for the servers to open. Yeah!